Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at another short Latin story. Now this one is called Solon's Precepts and it comes from George L. Bennett's Easy Latin Stories for Beginners from 1879. So if you've heard any of the videos I've made on this um, textbook, you know that what Bennett is calling Easy Latin Stories um, and what he's calling Stories for Beginners are not necessarily what I would. So if this is your first time seeing one of these videos, I would say that these um, stories are really good for that probably Latin 2 or Latin 3 range. That's where I tend to use them in my classroom just because there are some more complicated um, grammar in here, right? There is more complicated grammar, I should say. So for a beginner, I don't know, it kind of depends on where you are. Um, I would say if, if you're a student and you're only in Latin one, or maybe only taken, um, you know, middle school Latin, and you're in that first year of high school Latin, it's probably going to be a little bit um, beyond you. But if you've taken it for a few years, right, like I said, that Latin two or three range, and you know, things like subjunctive mood, um, you know, that's kind of where these fit. But either way, you can always try them. Um, and they're a great way to break free from a traditional Latin textbook because these stories are just on things that you probably don't talk about often, right? So a lot of them are historical or they're um, from mythology or they're stories that have a moral, right? So it's a great mix of different things. So I feel like Bennett offered, um, offered up a textbook that has something for everyone, okay? Now, what I like to do with these videos is read them to you just so you can hear the Latin on your own, right? Never that, uh, it's not that my pronunciation is anything great, but just in case you don't have anyone to read it to you. So I'll read it to you and then we'll pause the video and go through it together. But before we do that, I'd always encourage you to, um, you know, if you're trying to read this on your own, make a vocab list, give it a pre-read, right? Just look through if there's any words you don't recognize, look them up. There's a lot of great tools you can use um, online that are really fast and they'll let you do it very quickly. Just make a list of your vocab and go through it. Um, and the other thing I'd encourage you to do is if you're really trying to unpack this, try the read and reread method. I say it in all my videos, but I think it really works, right? So you want to read through the story, write down any areas you don't understand, try to look them up. And when you feel comfortable with it, go back and try the story again, right? And when you do that over and over again, you learn the story really well. It'll help you with the grammar, the vocab, and eventually you'll hit a point where you can read through this story without needing any help. That's how you know you've understood it and you're probably ready to move on, okay? So whatever you might be using it for, um, I'm going to start by reading it to you and then we'll unpack it together, okay? So like I said, this story is about um, Solon, right, who is a famous, <clears throat> excuse me, a famous ancient Greek statesman. He's a, a lawmaker and a philosopher, really, um, from the 7th century BC. So his reforms and laws are part of the rise of Athenian democracy, right? So if you want to look that up, of course, you definitely should. This is a very shortened version of who Solon is. But one of the things he was trying to do was get rid of um, sort of moral and economic decline, right? So you're going to see in this video, it's unpacking some advice we have uh, from him for younger Athenian boys and even Athenian men, right? But if you're interested in this, I'm giving you the very, very short version. Um, there's so much more you could look uh, look into this on your own. So if you're interested in ancient Athenian history or law or reforms, I'd highly recommend you do some research on your own um, and look him up because he's a really famous character, one that's really interesting to learn about, okay? So let's dive in. The story goes like this. You have Solon, Euenes, haec praecepta docuisse dicitor. Fidem ploris quam ius iorandum habetote, ne unquam mentiti citis rebus magnis opram date, ne amicitias ocius contraxeritis, contractas ne absolveritis. Parere imperio edocti ipsi aliis imperate. Ne suavissima concilia dederitis, sed optima, duci parete rationi cum malis habitare nol, uh, nolite, Deus colitote patres matresque ne neglexeritus. Okay, so we'll pause the video there, right? And now let's unpack it. And again, I always encourage you to try reading it on your own because my pronunciation is never anything fantastic, okay? But let's take it line by line and read it together, okay? So you start with this, you have Solon. So that's his name, right? And again, I'm saying it in sort of an English way. The emphasis is on that, um, the last O-N, right? It's a long O. But we'll just call him Solon for now, just so I can say it easier for you. So it's saying Solon is said, dicator, right? He's said to have taught um, young men, the Uenes, these lessons. So praecepta is where you get um, precepts, is what um, Bennett called it in the title. But they're sort of like lessons, right? These moral lessons. And he's said to have taught them these. So here's the quote, right, of what Solon would teach young boys, okay? So before we go into it, the one thing that might look a little bit weird to you is the habetote. <clears throat> so that's a future imper uh, imperative, rather, of habere. And 
often um, uh, you can use it in this store. They're going to use it instead of a present one. It's just indicating things that you you need to do in the future, right? It's kind of the idea. It's got that future time essence to it. So if that doesn't look familiar to you, um, I'm not sure if you see that in a lot of textbooks or not, but it is something you might come across. That's all it is, right? It's an imperative. So he's saying hold, right? Um, value or faith, whatever you want to do with, with FIDEM, right? Honesty. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Hold it more than an oath, right? Plodis quam usurandum, right? The usurandum is, is like a sworn oath. So he's saying, hold that value, that faith, that honesty, right? The fidem um, closer to you than an oath, okay? And he says, ne unquam mentiti citus rebus, right? So he says, never lie, um, never tell a lie and pay attention, right? That operum dare is, is probably best done as, as sort of pay attention here um, to great things, right? So kind of don't lie and focus on the really important stuff. Um, do not, uh, you can even say like form friendships, amicitias contract seritis, right? So don't form those uh, friendships too swiftly, ocius, right? Too, too. Uh, swiftly, it's probably a good way to do it. And don't break them, right? The absolutitis, right? Don't break them um, once they're formed, contracta. So, so sort of like having been formed, these uh, friendships, don't break them. So he's saying, don't lie, right? Pay attention. And he's saying, don't be too quick to form friendships. But once you do, and you have a friendship that you've chosen, don't break it. It's good advice for anybody. Then he says, um, parere imperio, right? So um, having been taught to, to obey orders, right? So uh, parere imperio edocti, right? So once you're taught to obey orders, um, command others. So imperate alis, command others yourselves. So he's saying only command others to do things once you've learned to obey orders, which again is really good advice, right? He's saying you shouldn't be a leader unless you can also be a follower is kind of what he's getting at here. Again, good advice. Then you have ne suavissima concilia de deritus, sed optima, duci parete rationi, da, da, da. Okay? So it's saying don't give the um, suavissima the most sort of pleasant or most agreeable concilia advice, meaning don't just say things people want to hear, but the optima, the best advice, right? So he said don't give the sweetest advice, right? The one that everyone wants to hear. Give them the best advice, okay? And obey reason. Right, rationi. So parete rationi, right? Obey reason as a guide, right? Duki. So he's saying follow reason um, as your guide, right? When you're making decisions, just follow reason. Then you have the last part of the line where it says, Cumalis habitare nolite, Deus colitote, patres matresque, ne neglexeritis, right? So we end with this. He says, Do not live with bad people, right? Cumalis, right? Bad men, bad people. So don't hang around bad people. Um, worship the gods, Deus colitote, right? So worship the gods. And good advice at the end, he says, Don't neglect, right? Um, don't forget about or neglect your fathers and mothers, patres uh, matresque. Okay, so when you put this all together, he's giving um, the Athenian boys, right, or young men, a really good life lesson, right? So I, I kind of like this story um, from Bennett. And again, I've told you in previous videos, I'm not, uh, I was never big into philosophy myself. I mean, I've read about it and learned about it, um, but nev never in depth. So I can never tell you that I'm an expert in uh, Solon's sort of uh, philosophical approach. But again, I like this video or, or this um, story from my video rather, just because I think it's good life advice for anyone, right? The things that are being reported here are pretty good. Um, and I think they would make sense for anybody. Okay. So like I said, if you want to look this up, feel free to do more research on your own. There's a lot of great things about Solon you can look up, but otherwise use it as a break from your, your Latin tradi uh, traditional Latin textbook, right? Um, you know, whatever you're using, take this as a break and just read something different. Okay. If you have any questions at all on the translation, anything like that, put it in the comments below. I'm always happy to help you or explain something. Um, I know I do these uh, fairly quickly, but otherwise keep at it, right? Read through it, do the vocab, whatever you need to do. And hopefully you're able to read it without too much trouble too. Good luck.